Shalom. First of all, I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Racha Kodash, Yahweh being the true Almighty and powerful name of the Heavenly Father, who the world ignorantly calls God, and his only begotten Son's name is Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. Bahashem meaning in the name. Racha means the Spirit. Uh, Kodash is holy. Of course, that's what I utter in the Paleo, paleo Hebrew. All right. First, I want to give double honors to the elders and apostles that great millstone who were well. Peace and salutation to all sincere Achim. They're out there, of course, uh, risking their lives and their freedom to bring out this truth, which is the moth. All right. Um, rightly dividing this word, you know, of course. Um, to you, I say Shalom. Shalom also to you, Aquathium. You sisters out there, they're listening, learning. Uh, in quiet and silence, of course, in subjection. All right, uh, brother Mafa, Great Millstone Plating Tables Camp, located here in Great Babylon. Of course, uh, coming again with just a little my two cents, you know, going on to this uh, current article, which I'm going to go over. It says Trump's executive order on family separation. What it does and doesn't it doesn't do. It was published on June uh, the 20th, 2018. So let's uh, go into it. It says President Trump signed an executive order on Wednesday. That's yesterday. Um, ending his administration's policy of separating migrant children from their parents who were detained as they attempted to enter the U.S. illegally. So, of course, you have... You know, the different borders in which um, primarily you have uh, the Latin tribes um, of the nation of Yashal of Israel, which um, the Latin tribes, that's the, um, you would say, the, uh, that's the um, northern kingdom. And you have a lot of them, like so-called Mexicans. Um, you know, they will, of course, try to, of course, enter to the United States of America illegally, you know, and of course, uh, because they're not U.S. citizens, Donald Trump, of course, have uh, him and his ICE agents and such, they have been doing a lot of different cruel things to them, which, uh, you know, I'm going to go into a little detention centers and such, but primarily right here is separating the migrant, migrant children from their parents. So anyway, I'm going to go into it. It says the actions came after a firestorm of protests from administration opponents and allies, which I believe uh, one of America's uh, allies being the UK, Great Britain, I believe, uh, Theresa May uh, over there uh, in the east in the UK. Uh, she, of course, uh, said that... Um, you know, uh, basically, the, that the, it's... Uh, in humane, like basically, she spoke up, spoke out against it. You know, I can, I don't have it actually on hand or what she said verbatim, but you know, she definitely came against, uh, you know, what is going on here in America. All right, it says retracting to pictures and sounds of young children traumatized by separation from their parents at the hands of U.S. authorities. All right, which, uh, you know. We know that our people, um, you know, uh, most of the so-called Latinos, or well, all, all the Latinos, uh, so-called Latinos, um, they they are of course a part of the, the twelve tribes of Israel. They are of course a part of the Northern Kingdom. All right, and of course the um, Southern Kingdom consists of uh, so-called Negroes, um, so-called West Indians, and so-called Haitians. All right. But anyway, I'm going to hit just a, a quick scripture, all right, which we know, we know the curses fell upon us because we brought lost as commandments, which clearly I'll read it here. This is uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 15. It says, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the, the voice of Yahweh, thy power to observe and to, do, and to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all of these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All right, so of course the Lord put, of course, these different curses because we broke the law, statutes, commandments. All right, which um, one curse I'm just going to quickly highlight. 
um, is um, I mean, there's there's so many different ones, but there's uh, this one that I like right here. This is uh, our I'm gonna use. It says, "Thy sons." This is Deuteronomy 28, 32. It says, "Thy sons and da daughters, and thy daughters, Slakia, shall be given unto another people." In thine eyes shall look and fail for longing for them all the days long, and there shall be no might in thine hand. Which, you know, we know our people have, of course, been, you know, sold into slavery. You know, uh, of course, um, you know, you already had the uh, Latin tribes here in the Americas. All right. Um, but uh, the so-called white men, the conquistadores and such, you know, Chris Columbus and all that, they enslaved them, you know, and uh, sent them over, of course, to Spain and, you know, different parts of, uh, you know, Europe and such, shipped uh, shipped all across the world, you know. And you can just look into the history of triangular, uh, triangular slave trade, and that was a curse that was put upon, you know, the whole nation of Israel. And, and uh, you can read that in Deuteronomy 28 chapter. At the 68 verse, all right. So, um, you know, you could clearly see that, um, you know, our people are, you know, still to this day suffering from these different curses, you know, and, um, you know, so called Mexicans, which is a tribe of uh, Issachar, all right, which means he is hired, um, you know, they're, they're catching a lot of hell, all right. You know, we got the Edomites, all right. Who are uh, the so-called white men? They are, of course, bringing upon all this this uh, oppression. Okay. So um, I'm gonna go now to uh, back to the article and just you know I'm gonna hit some scriptures. I'm not gonna try. I'm not gonna make this thing so long. All right. So it says. Uh, so we're going to have strong, very strong borders, but we're gonna keep the families together. I didn't like the sight of the feeling of families being separated, said Trump. Now, you know, this is going, of course, because he, you know, he signed an executive order which ended his administration's policy to separate the migrant children, all right, from their parents, which uh, they would separate them and hold uh, the, the different children in um, these detention centers, which you go into it. Um, some of these detention centers are, uh, have been, uh, Created by converting Walmart's um, super centers stores uh, into these detention centers, which I just call they're just concentration camps, FEMA camps, right? Um, which uh, let me see, I'm gonna click quickly show just a little um, picture right here. It's an image. It says a photo provided by the U.S. Uh, Custom and Border Protection. Shows the interior of a CBP facility in Mc, McAllen, Texas. All right, and this is one of those uh, detention centers, um, which um, they're holding the children that have been separated from their families, their their parents. Okay, they're young and they just have these little flash blankets, we uh, mats. All right, um, you know it's some bad conditions. All right, we go into it. You know, it's nothing for, of course, a child, but, you know, this is the so-called white man who's thy, thy enemy, you, you Israelites, which, you know, you uh, so-called Latin, Latinos, you are Israelites, all right? And your power is Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. It's not Cesare, it's not Jesus Christ. It's not, um, you know, Lady of Guadalupe and all that stuff y'all be calling out and stuff, you know? Y'all got to get out of them, all the idolatry that you've been following. All right, so it says uh, reporters taken on a tour of the facility were not allowed by agents to interview any of the detainees, which their children. All right. Um. So uh, I'm gonna go back now. I'm just bouncing around. This is all to the spirit of power, y'all, by Shamel Shy. All right, so uh, you know, you got of course Trump saying uh, he basically saying a lie. He don't. He didn't care. That was part of his uh his administration, you know, to come down, of course, on uh. Um, you say so-called la la Latinos, all right? What y'all call brown people and such, you know? 
which are they're just nothing but the children of Israel, all right? Part of the 12 tribes, all right? It says, he is, a, is in effect ordering family separation to be replaced with the detention of whole families together, even after pre pre previously arguing that you can't do it by executive order. It says, what does the executive order says? The president and his administration is trying to balance rigorous enforcement of the U.S. immigration law and pursue its policy of maintaining family unity. He says his administration was put in the position of separating alien families and effectively enforce the law because of the Congress failure to act in court orders. It says, what court is he talking about? Um... He got this one. The administration has cons constantly said it was forced to separate families because of the conclusion of the court case known as the Flores Statement. This, our settlement, Slakia. So that settlement reached in 1997 required the government to limit time. The time it keeps unaccompanied minors in detention and keep them in the, last res in the least restrictive settings as possible. I mean, when you go into, you know, the different... Um, like if you do some research on what what type of condition that you say the migrant children are in, all right, they are in these detention centers. Um, they're not allowed to see the light of day um, outside. Of, I believe, um, you know, for recreation or nothing like that. You know, um, but I mean, you could you have to look up on it, look up it, up into it. You know, it's uh they really safeguarding it. Um, you know, the whole facility. You know, and keeping it on low. You know, there's different um, uh, YouTubers that are uh, trying, of course, pursue like truth, so-called truthers, trying to pursue. Uh, you know, getting more information. You know, of course, they care about. You know, some of them care about child welfare. You know, but uh, you know, it's just uh, they treat, of course, the nation of Yasha Allah like animals. All right, and so of course they are they're, because they know. You know, um, we are the Lord's chosen. Um, and of course, uh, you know, they're our enemy, okay? They're, of course, supposed to, of course, oppress us, okay? Um, so, I mean, you could read up into this more, but I mean, it's it's nothing really crazy. The more highlight is that he, Trump, has signed this executive order, all right? About the, uh, uh, he not se separating the family, so, you know, he's not going to take, rip your, your family, your, your little daughter away from you at the border and ship them somewhere else you know and ship you somewhere else and then of course uh send you back deport you back to uh mexico or wherever you came from all right so uh i'm gonna hit some other scriptures real quick this is going to be psalms 36 and 1 and it reads um to the chief musician a psalm of dawada or david the servant of Yahweh, the transgression of the wicked saith within my heart that there is no fear of the power before his eyes. For he flattered himself in his own eyes until his iniquity be found hateful. You know, you have, of course, uh, the multitude of sins of the, you have the wicked. They commit daily. All right. You know, the, uh, the, the wicked, the so-called white man, the Edomites. All right, the earth is given unto the hand of the wicked. They are the wicked, and of course, uh, you know, in their own eyes, you know, um, you know, they they they, they 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 don't they don't they 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 don't see it wrong at all, you know, for what they're doing, you know. And the scriptures do just speak. So I mean, I just want to just go through it. It says, uh, verse three. It says, the words of his mouth are iniquity and deceit. All right, so you know, this is just just nothing but sin and deceit, which is fraud. All right. He hath left off to be wise in. He it says he had left off to be wise and to do good. You know, and and the, and the, the fucking um the, the so-called white man. You know, even though they say this place is a God-fearing country and stuff, you know, they they're far from that. All right, they don't they don't serve the the Lord of the Bible, though they of course try to swear upon the Bible and of course claim to be. Of course, uh, Christians and such, you know, which uh, only the Christ the Christians are the anointed ones, are the Israelites, all right? The same ones that they have in them, uh, the detention centers, all right? Um, separating their families. It says, Thy mercy, O Yahweh, is in the heavens, and thy faithfulness reaches the crowds, the clouds, into the clouds, like you. 
All right, Slack and me. Um, I actually mixed missed this verse. Uh, it says Psalms thirty six and four. It says he devi deviseth mischief upon his bed. He setteth himself in a way that is not good. He abhor abhorreth not evil. All right. So the so called white man, of course, you know they plan out, you know, nothing but a bunch of wickedness, you know. And this is part of it, you know, because uh, really, you know, the uh, make America great again. They they want to keep, of course, uh, us in slavery. All right, you know, and if we, of course, uh, come here, you know, uh, like uh, so-called Latino tribes, you know, they want to, of course, uh, get you in these concentration camps and uh, program you, put you with a chip, indoctrinate you with all different type of philosophies which are against the law, statutes, and of the Bible. Um, which is just going to just lead you to destruction. All right, so I'm going to just close out with this uh, book of Sirach. Uh This is uh, an apocrypha, part of King James 16, 11, uh, cha chapter 15 and 18. It says, for wisdom, it says, for the wisdom of the Lord, Yahweh Shem Shai is great, and he is mighty in power and beholdeth all things. And his eyes are upon them that fear him, and he knoweth every work of man. And you know the eyes that of uh, that are of the Lord, they are of course upon, of course, his elect. Okay, so you know, regardless, uh, you know, if you are, you know, if you are a part of like, if you're in that uh, them different concentration camp, uh, you know, uh, situations or whatever, uh, set, uh, you would say, um, settings. You know, the Lord, of course, is going to preserve them, all right? Um, but uh, he, he, he knows every work of man. He knows definitely the, 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 the amount of sins of the so-called white man, all right? His bound, you know, he got bounds that he can't, uh, you know, surpass, you know? Goes on, verse 20 says, He hath commanded no man to do wickedly, neither hath he given any man license to sin, all right? You know, and that's that's pretty plain. You know, he Lord ain't give nobody no permission to go be uh doing committing all this sin and iniquity. All right, but the wicked, you know, they you know, they they don't know no good, so of course they're gonna do evil. All right, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna just close out with that. Um, you know, you could you could do do some more research. Uh, and, and I'm gonna keep, of course, following the story and bring out more edification further on. Uh, Trump's executive order on family separation. All right, he has he of course stopping it, but you know he's still putting them in these uh, different detention centers and still of course uh, pressing us. You know, so remember never trust thine enemy. With that, I'm gonna say call halal imla yah ba shem yashai ba hashem rachakodash the blanche that was an apostles at Great Millstone. Of course, peace, salutation, all sincere achim, shalom.